the range, as people often comment, it is incredibly wide from science fiction, Alien, uh, Blade Runner, History, 4092 Gladiator, Thrillers, Black Rain, Thelma and Louise, feminist movie, A Good Year, which is a kind of a comedy about downshifting, really. Um, it's hard to imagine they're all made by one director. Do you have any sense of what a Ridley Scott movie is? Um, no, I always say that there never was a plan and there still is no plan. And I just jump into what fascinates me next. And what's next for me very often is like two or three years hence. So I'll, I know what I'm going to do next year and more or less what I'm going to do the year after. So I'm already developing that in mind. So the subject is chosen and the connection between a good year American Gangster, what I'm going to do next, what I'm going to do next. There's no apparent connection. I mean, you can always go into everything and actually find a psychological connection, but in, in, in you know, brief, it, no, there's no connection. Well, I hope we can find those psychological connections, but there are even some directors, actors, who there seems not to be a plan. The plan mm -hmm. is to have no plan. They try to do work mm -hmm. as different as possible, but mm -hmm. do, do you think like that? Do you think, yeah. I've done an epic, mm -hmm. now I need to do an intimate film? The ideal thing would be to have do a big one and a small one, a big one and a small one, simply because of the physical um, aspects of making a film. People are very, most people are not really conscious of how physic the physicality involved in making a film, even a small film. And I'm not gonna bore anyone with actual, uh, you know, a version of what that entails. But it is really, um, it, it's tiring, but I think the exhilaration of making it absolutely puts any, away any thoughts or sense of being tired until somebody says it's a wrap, the film is finished, and then you kind of collapse. But for the moment, du during the process of the film, I think it, filming is so exhilarating that I still think it's the best job in the world. But anyone who's seen Gladiator, even as an outsider, we can see that would be exhausting. But when we watch mm -hmm. something like the most recently released film, mm -hmm. A Good Year, mm -hmm. it looks like comedy, mm -hmm. France, mm -hmm. relatively small characters, ensemble cast, that mm -hmm. looks less exhausting, but, but it isn't. No, it's still, you know, if you and it also depends on the kind of uh, quality you're aiming at, and therefore, what, if you're aiming high, which I always am, then my leading actors are always aiming very high, and so nothing is as easy as it looks. And so, there was the amusing thing, when editors see the rushes in the editing room, they never really realize how much effort and pain and uh, anxiety goes into it. And there's a lot of stuff, and stuff happens off camera prior to production, prior to the day of filming, discussions on a Saturday and a Sunday, where suddenly the actor will say, I'm not happy with these scenes, and so you, you gotta meet. You go, this goes on all the time throughout the whole process of movie making. So that's going on apart from the process of writing in the morning saying action, cut, 